My, my journey has been tremendous uh, through the trades and through life. And I, I think what's beautiful is that it's a journey, it's not a destination. This award allows me to take pause for a moment in that journey and, and recognize that two of, my, two of the fundamental things that drive me as a human being, uh, that, that I'm well on my way to achieving them. Th those two things are the pursuit of knowledge. I, I need to continually keep learning. And the second thing is I've always needed to help people. And, and through my time with Alberta Apprenticeship and working in the trades, and, uh, and, and now receiving this award, I've realized that I'm well on that journey. Uh, Megan has, has devoted more time to people learning about the trades and getting involved in the trades and working in the trades than anybody else that I've ever come across. People that have been in the refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic trade for the amount of time that Megan has, there isn't one of them around that doesn't know who Megan Mathis is. And it's important to me that there never is and Megan's on our advisory committee for School of Construction, which is a credible partnership, so bringing that industry experience and continue to support our students is here. And um, just never, never far away, always a phone call away, which is just incredible. I've known Megan for uh, a number of years when Megan served on, on, on the board for uh, apprenticeship and industry training. I was always amazed at um, how informed, uh, how candid, how compassionate. She always came to those meetings. Uh, she always had something to say, but what she said was always very meaningful. And you can really tell it was coming from a point of how do I serve the industry? How do I serve apprenticeship and make it better? And I've always admired that as, as her as, as, as a board member because she was really truly giving back her personal time. And Megan is just such, such a shining example of how um, someone can come through the ranks and give back to the system and make the system stronger than when they entered. When Megan uh, gives back or gets involved in trades, it's not for a reward or recognition. It, you know, 10 years ago when we met, 15 years ago when we met, you could, you could see it right then, there was just something special about Megan that was just so willing to work with people. Um, I don't think it would matter what industry Megan was be in, would be at the top of that industry. And just such a good fit for the authentic, honest, hardworking person. My journey in the trades has been absolutely amazing. And I've had the privilege of working along so many amazing journey persons, business owners, clients, and I've actually even been influenced and, and mentored and coached by many apprentices. Meg is a great mentor for all apprentices. Uh, she's actively involved with Careers Next Generation, the Apprenticeship Board, and she also sits on the board for state. Meg uh, deserves the recognition to the Alberta Hall of Fame uh, because she's a truly inspirational person to all young tradespeople in the province of Alberta. Being a skilled tradesperson in Alberta carries the exact same prestige, recognition and quality as being any other professional in, the, in Alberta. Something that, that I find really intriguing and, and that I've seen grow and, and develop over this time is how we have older generations and younger generations who all learn in different ways, uh, leveraging technology and essential skills and, and helping to teach each other how they can all work in this space and how they can all make the trades better together.